Hello YouTubers, today I'm on here. In this video, I'm going to benchmark a new benchmark demo that came uh, recently from Unigine, the Superposition benchmark. Uh, this recording is done on an external recorder, so what you will see is pure performance. I'm using a Core i7-860 which is overclocked to 4 GHz I'm not sure if uh, the processor overclocking will help uh, in some way in this benchmark uh, I have not done an analysis yet 12 GB of memory and the graphics card is a GTX 1070 KFA2 latest force were installed and it is also a little overclocked in order to boost at 2 GHz so uh, let me where the yes here it is let me take the uh, OSD out of the way. So I'm going to do two runs uh, with this benchmark. I'm going to benchmark the 1080p extreme and the 4K uh, optimized. So let's start with the 1080p extreme.
Okay, the benchmark has finished. Uh, my score is uh, what you see here: three thousand and eight hundred and five. Uh, it, it is a decent uh, result because my GTX 970 was scoring around 2000 so the 1070 is quite a lot faster I will upload the uh, 970 video soon enough uh, for now for now let me go back and I'm going to switch to 4K optimized again with DirectX uh, shader path and uh, let me ok now let's see how this one will fare seems it is faster The optimized, the 4K optimized benchmark is finished as well. Uh, quite an improvement in terms of uh, frame rate. 5,942. Very good result for the GTX 1070. Now let's go to the MSI after burner graph to see what's uh, going on during the runs around 30 frames per second for the first one around 
45 uh, for the second GPU usage is maxed out for both runs the frame times seem to be ok no serious spiking except this one here nothing too weird CPU usage seems to be quite low uh, this benchmark is of course primarily uh, GPU limited very little activity on the CPU we can see that overall it is hovering around 20% so uh, it does not matter what frequency the CPU was running at the CPU temps are very good of course due to the very low load the GPU temps however really uh, took a hit we can see that it climbed up to 74% uh, quite high temperature for the GTX 1070 RAM usage at 5.2 GB quite demanding on the RAM usage the core clock was at 2 GHz for the first half half of the first uh, run it took a hit of 13 MHz after that and it took a hit of 13 MHz and 26 MHz for the second run uh, it is a quite heavy benchmark so the GTX 1070 gets really heated up 3.2 GB of uh, video RAM usage for the first run 3.8 GB for the second run however the second run was performing better of course performance is not uh, about video RAM usage another interesting part here is the power of the card of the GTX 1070 we can see how high it has climbed it has gone even above 100% I think uh, I'm not sure but I think this is the first time I have seen this happening very interesting this is why we need uh, some more analysis where when just uh, run benchmarks in any case this is the end of the video my friends you can benchmark it yourself and uh, post my uh, your results uh, below so we can uh, see how different cards fare thank you very much for watching i will see you on my next video